Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a new series of Android TV. So today we we are discussing about GC Mob app for Android TV. So basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you what is GC Mob app for Android TV. What are its feature and function? Then we'll tell you that how you download install this app on your Android TV and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature. So keep watching till end. Please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. So let us start. What is GC Mob app for Android TV? Basically, it is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your Android TV screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. The main purpose of this app is that by using this app, you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera, but you can access all its feature. Like you can see the multiple channel at a time. You watch the recording of the cameras. You take the snapshot of the video. You control the PTZ camera. You save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. You take a backup of the recorded videos and many more. Now, as far as the installation and configuration is concerned let's come on the screen this is android tv screen what you should do first you should install google file manager plus just open google play store and search for file manager plus here it is just open it and install it i already installed it i already installed it that's why it's showing me option uninstall otherwise you you, you should find the option installed after that click open and now, now this is the interface of file manager plus just close it now what what should you do you should download gc mob apk from google uh, or set your rendition apk if you don't know how to download and if you didn't find set your rendition apk then i make a separate video that how to download and install set your orientation apk and then give link in the description so so that you can watch the video and able to configure set your rendition apk now after that copy both the apks in a usb drive and insert in your usb drive in your android tv and also optical mouse Okay, you, if you if your Android TV has a single port, then use multi USB plug. Now here you see that my pen drive detected. Now what you should do? You should click on apps and go to the file manager and click open. Now here if I find your pen drive, just open it. And you should install set your orientation APK first. Just single click on it. It is start staging. Then it start installing. I would install that. It's give me that's it. That's why it's give this option. Otherwise, it doesn't give this kind of options. Just give new and click installed. Now click open. Okay. So when you click open, you find here a uh, landscape mode. and a portrait mode just just select landscape mode and press okay okay now why why should we do this because it always open a app in a landscape mode if it is by default open in portrait mode which is very difficult to handle and operate it now install gc mob apk the single click on it it start staging first then it start installing now just click install now let the installation to be finish then we'll tell you two very important step that which has to be taken otherwise your app is stuck in between so don't do not skip any part of the video please watch it carefully and please like share our video and subscribe to our channel let the installation to be finish then we'll tell you a configuration phase and a setting phase now just click done now before after that just click you have to make two changes just click on setting and click on device preferences 
and over there just click on security and restriction and click verify apps and click unknown source if you find DC mob just allow it after that again click on setting and go to the apps and go to the see all apps and now find GC mob just click permissions and open camera locations especially the microphone and storage give all the access otherwise app is stuck in between and it doesn't go it is not going to be open and now save now click open Now here you find what you want to add, just click camera and click next. Now this is the interface app of the app, just click here and here you find, click on this top right corner to add the device, just click here. Now it's asked for, uh, before adding device, please make sure your device is initialized, otherwise it, you cannot use it. Click OK, what type of device you want to install it, OK? Just click wired device and click next. Now here you find two options, install on an IP domain. If you click IP domain, then it asks for a IP address, means local IP address. You put any any test, any test name here. For example, you for adding a home camera, then just click home. And here it's for a username and password. You see that here it asks for a username and password. Please don't be confused. It is a username and password of the device. Device means DVR, NVR, whatever you're adding. And then click save. But the problem is that you are only able to view within your premises, within your Wi-Fi range, okay? Just pack it and just click install. When you online by using install, you can access from anywhere. It means that you can remotely access your device. Now for that, put any name. For example, if you have a adding, if you are adding office camera, just please just pay place office if you are adding home camera just put home i am just putting test device or test okay now it asks for a serial number and qr code when you click on here that you it, it doesn't show me any qr code because my tv don't have a camera so that's why i should manually enter the serial number where did you get serial number just log in your device and go to the network option over there you find the option install on just click install on what there you find this number i note down that number and here i should enter uh, that number And here it asks for a username and password. Please don't be confused. It is the username and password of the device. Device means DVR, NVR, whatever you are adding. If your Android TV remote not working, you can use USB keyboard also. Now click save. Now click here. Your camera comes online. Okay. Uh, again, again click here. You can access all the camera. Now put all the things here. Just double click it to main view of the camera. Now I will tell you each and every option one by one. This is stop and stop, stop and on off button. When you click here, it, it will stop. And again, you, when again you click here, it is start live view. Now here you find a multi-channel view. For example, you change the view. You can change from here. Now single click again. If you take want to take a screenshot, just click here. And if you want to live record the live view, just click. Here. Just click here. Your recording will start. 
you see that it timer start this mean the recording will start just again click it the recording will stop and here you find uh, to change or rotate the camera if you want to rotate the camera then you can use this function just close it and again single click on the cam and here you have a multi view option like to see the camera in this way okay now again single click on the camera and if your camera speed is at just click here you are able to zoom in zoom out all the thing you can manage from here okay now if you want to add the camera just click here and just click on wt option this will again give you zoom in zoom out option and if your device is to be audio communicated just click here you are able to communicate it here you find the speaker like option just click it if you want to hear the voice from the camera if the camera is audio enabled you are simply able to listen the voice from the camera if you want to this camera add in favorite one just click here okay so in this way you can manage all the things now cancel it and just double it again and if you want to cam more view on the camera you have to take it and add on it like this okay in this way you can check the uh, you can access all the things so just double click on the cam and if you want to close it just just right click from the mouse and click okay your app is close and you if you want to again open it just click open and in this way you can take it again your channels and it comes live so that's all about this video hope you understand everything whatever i tell you thank for watching thank you have a nice day